Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, in this video, I am going to show you how we can use PIC 18F microcontroller independently on a breadboard. Uh, first of all, uh, we have to use this uh, chip PIC 18F 452, uh, which is basically a, a dual inline packaging. Uh, and we are going to start as counting from this notch. Uh, you can see uh, this notch. Um, this is uh, basically the pin number one of the microcontroller. Uh, which is master clear um, and we will count uh, down towards this pin and from this pin we have we will continue towards this last pin which is uh, 40th pin of microcontroller uh, so first of all uh, we have to use it on uh, a breadboard and I am going to fix it with this microcontroller I am using a oscillator of uh, 20 megahertz as you can see the here um, this is the notch and uh, we are going to start connecting our wires from pin number one this is master clear which is active low uh, so we are going to connect it with uh, 5 volts or VDD uh, here red color represents uh, 5 volts and this brown color represents uh, ground uh, I am connecting this with the VCC you can see it is connected now the next step is uh, I am going to connect this 11 pin with the VDD uh, so I am going to start counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 this is the 11th pin and I am going to connect it with the source 5 volts next pin uh, which is 12 number pin I am going to connect it with the ground VSS so here is the ground <coughs> pin number 12 is connected with ground moving on to the next step which is uh, I am going to connect the oscillator this oscillator is connected with pin number 12 uh, sorry pin number 13 and 14 and this is the method I am going to use to connect the oscillator and the last step uh, is that I am going to connect the VCC with the uh, uh, pin number 32 and VSS with pin number 31 this is pin number 20 here now moving on to the next side this is pin number 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and this is 31. So I am going to connect it with the ground here. I will provide ground to the breadboard. And the next pin uh, must be connected with uh, once again VDD which is pin number 32. Uh, here is the complete circuit um, of uh, the program used in the previous video uh, which is implemented on picket 4 now I have implemented the same code uh, the same hex file here um, on breadboard in which a uh, uh, LED is connected with RB0 and a switch is connected with <coughs> RC0 you can see that uh, if I press connected with RB0 will be turned on I am going to press this switch now as I have pressed this switch it will get a high signal and in the result the LED will be turned on <coughs> while uh, the RD0 is connected with ground here if I connect it with the VCC the LED will be turned off as you can see uh, the LED is turned off here hopefully uh, this is informative for you uh, one more thing I am going to add uh, I will like to add here is I have used a pull down resistance with the pin RC0 uh, uh, normally it will get a low signal uh, when I will press the switch it will get a high signal and in the result in the resultant uh, you will see the LED turned on connected with the RB0 uh, thanks for watching uh, do comment uh, if you have any queries laugh is.